All right, in this problem, I asked you to draw and label an even, an even function. Now, let me write the word here, function. Notice how this one does not have the word degree next to it. That means I need to, at even, I need to draw a dotted line or it's going to fold where? On the y-axis. So remember my silly phrase, it is even the. That's to help you refer to the y-axis and you're basically kind of making an L there. Okay. So then any graph there should do. You can draw a parabola, you can draw an absolute value. Here's an absolute value. And you can see that it falls. Okay. <laughs> In odd, we talked about how my silly phrase is op x. And that kind of refers to the algebraic part, right? But the op, op, or opposite. So that means that in these two regions, in either in yellow or pink, my graph is going to look the same. Does that make sense? So you can have something like a linear, easy, easy one, right? Does that work? Yeah, they fold into the yellows. Does that make sense? You can fold to there, fold it to here. You can draw a uh, another cubic function. Would that work? Yes. Yeah. You got a little tree sticking out here, tree sticking out here, mountain, mountain. Okay? And then a neither, if you think about it, a neither can actually be any of these, but just shift it over. Does that make sense? So if I if I shift it over here, is it is it odd? Going across opposites, the corners? No. no. Is the folding exactly on the y-axis? No. no. So you can just basically take any of these and just shift it over. Maybe make a graph your line right up here. Does that make sense? All right, number two is the multiple choice question. And the question asks you um, which one of these graphs, OK? So I can kind of create an equation, OK? So I know that it's starting up and it ends up. Is that an odd or an even? It's an even. The easiest one is x squared. Does that make sense? So I know that it is an even. The next thing I know that the these are pointing up. If they were pointing down, my leading coefficient would be a negative. So my leading coefficient has to be a positive. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just writing down characteristics from my graph that I can relate to the equation. Okay. Um, you guys already have it on your papers, but if I asked you which one of these, B and D I would eliminate, so I'm just going to write the letters. You have the specific numbers already on yours. But um, I'm going to eliminate B and D because B and D have a to the fifth power. And those would be what? Odd degrees. That's why I'm canceling those. A and C. Um, the first term has negative x to the fourth, and this one's just x, x to the fourth. So these are both even degrees, but this is the one that has a um, negative leading coefficient. I'm looking for a positive, so your answer is C. And number three tells us to draw a cubic. Class cubic is what number? Is this degree even or odd? What's the easiest one? Four. Correct, x to the first, and it looks like this. So we're going to start down and up. So let's make a quick sketch. I would normally use a ruler, but we're kind of running out of time. So normally my graph would look like something like something like this, right? But it has a negative. So with a negative, that means I need to flip my arrows. Do you see what a negative leading coefficient does? Okay. 
So now maybe my graph looks like this. Okay, now it says something at 4, 1. Is that possible to have a local minima? I know, I know. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Maybe my graph goes like that. Does that make sense? And maybe this is the order pair for one. Because I want a local minimum, a local low point. And my graph, local minimum, local max, right? And it still starts up, ends down. Okay? So it's a cubic because their odds are going away from each other. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's a leading coefficient because I flipped them and normally started here but then we switch it to the oranges. And then I wanted to go through that one point, so I drew that one point, and I kind of had to go through there to make a local minimum. So this was a quick review of 5.2. That's going to be in quiz very shortly.